Um, I would like to talk about gun control. While it is true that a significant number of gun deaths in the United States are caused by illegal guns, gun violence is still a major issue that disproportionately affects the black population. The fact that many gun homicides are committed with illegally possessed firearms underscores the need for stronger gun laws and better enforcement. While it is true that suicide accounts for a significant portion of gun deaths in the United States, homicide is also a major contributor to gun deaths. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, in 2019, there were 14,414 gun homicides in the United States, which represents a rate of 4.4 deaths per 100,000 people. While this rate has decreased over the past few decades, it is still significantly higher than in other developed countries. Furthermore, gun violence disproportionately affects the black population in the United States. According to the CDC, black Americans are 10 times more likely to be murdered with a gun than are white Americans. This disparity is driven by a number of factors, including systemic racism, poverty, and a lack of access to resources. While it is true that many gun homicides are committed with illegally possessed firearms, this does not mean that stronger gun laws and better enforcement are not necessary. In fact, these measures can help to keep guns out of the hands of people who are at a higher risk of committing violent crimes, including individuals with a history of domestic violence or those with a history of mental illness. Ultimately, addressing gun violence in the United States will require a multifaceted approach that includes stronger laws, better enforcement, and efforts to address the underlying social, economic, and political factors that contribute to gun violence.
While it is true that a disproportionate number of gun homicides in the United States are committed against black Americans by other black Americans, it is important to recognize that this trend is driven by systemic factors such as poverty, historical and present-day racial discrimination, and lack of access to resources which disproportionately affect black communities. These factors do not justify gun violence but it is important to understand their role in shaping patterns of violence. It is true that gun homicides account for a smaller percentage of gun deaths in the United States compared to gun suicides, but this does not negate the fact that gun homicides contribute significantly to the overall gun violence problem in the country. Moreover, it is important to note that the majority of gun-related deaths in the United States are not the result of homicides or suicides, but rather the result of accidents or unintentional shootings which may also be mitigated through stronger gun safety and storage regulations. While there may be complex factors driving gun violence within black communities, it is not accurate to suggest that these communities are inherently more prone to violence or that stronger gun laws are not necessary to address gun violence within these communities. Rather, many experts believe that a combination of policies such as community-based violence programs, greater access to mental health care, and stronger gun laws that are enforced uniformly can help to reduce gun violence within all communities regardless of race.